Okay, we'll take a close look at our 911 930 carpet set offering here at Heritage. We have absolutely zero doubt. We make the most authentic replacement carpet set for Porsche 911s anywhere on the planet. Frankly, our competitors don't even come close. We have absolutely nailed it. Um, and I'll demonstrate some of the details here. Of course, in this particular case, the original pockets uh, were recovered, so these two pieces here are supplied in the kit. Now, very, very important. This leather on the top here was skived leather from the factory, and at Heritage, we include this leather as skived leather. Now I'll explain what skive leather is later when we look at the dash and the upper door garnish cappings and so on. But let's get back to the carpet set. First you'll note we have an exact reproduction of the rubber heel pad with the ribs that we get from Europe. Uh, I showed in an earlier video how the binding on the backed pieces is wider from the factory. Here's, here we have an example, we looked at it before. And then on the, on the unbacked pieces, it's uh, narrower. They use two different machines. And we do the same here. Um, this wrinkled look is, is, uh, is uh, the result. You can see a factory original here with the same kind of problems. That's just the nature of it. But that's how they did it, that's how we do it. So there we have the original heel pad sewn in beautifully top stitched, bound, bound right through the heel pad, bound right through the bubble felt. Uh, many of our competitors do not have access to this bubble felt. Get it from Europe and all the pieces that were originally backed uh, are backed in bubble felt in our kit. And you can see different shapes and so on. This piece here has a cardboard reinforcing sewn in. And I will uh, now just show you on the Gerber cutting machine some of the files that relate to that. So here we have the bubble felt file, and that's a multiple, that's a multi-cut of uh, three car sets. And of course, it's it's cut reverse so that um, it fits on the back. If you can imagine the bubbles, the the direction that it gets cut is important. And here we have a file for the uh, little rings uh, that's uh, reduced there inside. Let's see if I can get it larger. Now I need two hands to do that. And uh, you can see that that cardboard reinforcing has been digitized and we've cut a full sheet of cardboard and have those in stock. Uh, those kind of details are usually uh, missed uh, by other uh, manufacturers. Here we have uh, the same for this two millimeter fiber board. Again, we bring this in from Europe. It's not an easy thing to get here. In fact, it, it is not available in North America. So again, um, a, a detail that allows for this panel board to be strong, but also to bend to allow for the pocket shape. Again, top stitched beautifully. When, we, when the machine cuts this, it even puts a pencil line on, on, the, outs on the board here so that the sewer can know exactly where to sew. So these are the kick panels with the leather listing sewn in. Um, uh, in a rockers, some pieces uh, that are not bound. Anyway, every single piece of carpet, of course, the rear mats and so on, is included. And um, you'll notice that the driver's side, we put this curve built right into the mat. It's glued in. It's a tricky thing to do. Uh, that's what was done at Porsche, and that's how we do it. The mat for the passenger side is not uh, curved, it's flat, and also is not have the back end on this portion here. Now, of course, this hasn't gone to the shipping department for final inspection and cleaning, as you can tell by the mess. Uh, this this uh, bubble felt, jute felt, uh, Gives, a, gives off a lot of fibers and um, that all needs to be cleaned back. And um, 
finally we can see this piece here. It's got the, uh, the P black PVC straps. We even have uh, found an exact replica for the uh, uh, rivet that was used by the factory. Um, a lot of our competitors are sewing this in position, which is not correct. A lot of our competitors close this up with another stitch. Arguably, look, it makes it look better, but not original. The factory left it raw edge like this, with a, with, a, with a nice top stitch around the outside, as you can see. And there's, a, there's an example right there of the factory's effort. So, there we have it. I think, uh, I think you uh, guys would agree that this is uh, an exact reproduction of the original factory carpet set. Uh, so if you order the carpet set from us, of course, these, these come supplied and um, not installed. However, we you can send us your pockets, we can take care of that as well. Porsche Original Carpet Binding 101, gentlemen, check it out. So, on the, this is original 930 um, carpet set. Uh, on the pieces that have the bubble felt back in, the factory used a purpose-made setup machine and did a larger style binding. You can see it here. It's very crudely put on. There's lots of wrinkles from the factory. That's the nature of the wide binding on the stiff substrate. And in this particular case, they went right through the rubber heel pad and the felt back in which is extremely difficult to do. That's why, uh, that's how they did it. Now, uh, you'll notice that on the pieces that are backed, it's wide, and on the pieces that are not backed, it's narrow. Different machine, different setup. There's the narrow example of the narrow binding. There's an example of the, the thick binding. Okay, so the pieces that are backed are actually different thickness, different width, it's about 5 eighths versus 3 eighths. So that's it. Now, very few shops can handle that. We have a purpose-made machine that's set up with a special binding head that we had made and it's just for Porsche. And it makes short work. It's a very powerful machine. It's going right through the carpet and the felt. And now it'll go through carpet felt and the rubber. Don't try that one at home, kids. That's very thick, difficult to do. But we at Heritage have the best sewers on the planet, second to none. So there we go, that's how we do it. Let's see how perfect it turns out. Okay, gentlemen, Porsche 911, guys, start your engines. We are going to take a close look here at Heritage Upholstery's offering for a carpet set for the 911s. In this particular case, it's a 76 930 Turbo Coupe uh, with some reference to some original pieces from the 1975 pre-production Carrera Coupe that was featured in Excellence Magazine, December issue, 2015. Um, there's some differences there, and I just want to point some out. Uh, I'll start by saying that this carpet set, as with all our other products, a computer cut on a CAD cutting system, our machine here. We roll out the carpet, the black slive in it, or any other color, pull up the right file, press the button, and the whole carpet set is cut out in about 32 seconds. Now the great advantage of that is that once we've got our patents correct, we can re replicate them over and over and there's no variance. We develop the patents very carefully off original pieces from the cars. They've all been digitized and that ensures consistency. The carpet itself is imported from Germany. It's the correct slive in it. We have black here and like uh, most of the original colors are available to us. Um, we custom make every carpet set to order. There's lots of variants, and uh, uh, I'll, I'll go through the uh, carpet set here, and I will justify why we and our customers feel that we make the very best 911 carpet sets in the world. Now, that's a 
That's a pretty ballsy statement, but I hope to demonstrate it by carefully looking at some of the details. Um, it is all in the details. So we're trying to reproduce a carpet set exactly the same as the factory. And one of the key ingredients for that is the bubble felt. Many of our competitors do not have this available to them. Again, we, we computer cut the bubble felt to fit uh, on the patterns. Uh, this is how Porsche took otherwise flimsy carpet, the sliver knit, and made it stiff when they wanted it, when they wanted that stiffness in, in mats typically and a few other applications within the cockpit. Uh, but most of the time they wanted it flexible so they could go around uh, contours like these covers in the rear, uh, upper rear quarters there that have the sewn tuck into them. There's no way to, to take a heavy back carpet and fit it into a Porsche. There's so many nooks and crannies, bends and and changes in direction. So that's how they got around it. They made the flexible stretch carpet for where they needed it and then backed it where they where they wanted stiffness. So that's the rear mats, that's how they come. Um, we'll look at this piece here, this this uh, around the um, shifter. Again, small details. We have the cardboard sewn on the back exactly as original. Um, often missed. Uh, by competitors. The uh, front uh, pockets uh, for the kick panels with the leather list in sewn in. Again, these appear to be small when, when we show them, they're, they're small details. Uh, but these are valuable cars and, and the trend worldwide is to restore them to high standard and why shouldn't the carpet set be, be to that standard? So that's what we're shooting for here exactly as original even down to the fiber board that we put within this it, we import from Europe it's hard to get in the US it's a 1.1 millimeter fiber board which is exactly the same size that the factory is that uh, a lot of our competitors using a much thicker board which does not bend correctly and you're not able to form the pocket as, as it should be of course that's bent and formed into the car and again, stitched on as the factory did. And our computer helps us. Not only do they cut these, the computer cuts these pieces, but it actually puts a chalk line on for the stitch, stitch line so we can get it perfect. Uh, even Porsche didn't have that. Uh, they tool cut theirs, uh, their carpet sets. So again, looking at some small differences, this is the original piece from the uh, 75 pre-production coupe featured in Excellence, December 15. Um, and you can see one of the details is this raw edge leather or vinyl, depending on what was specified. They, it's quite a crude setup from the factory, but that's how they did it. And, and we've replicated it here in this particular case in the leather. You can see the raw edge. Um, we have seen in the early cars leather straps being used and then then these PVC with a with a grain uh, straps on some of the later cars. So in this particular case, it's the PVC. Uh, we were lucky enough; it took a while, but we managed to source these snaps uh, from Europe, the exact right size. So another another detail in our set are these these uh, snaps. We have the holes in the straps, and of course this piece is back. You can see the diameter of the snap. Is exactly correct. The front mat, uh, passenger mat backed and as it was at the factory not backed on this portion here to allow flexibility again the correct strap with the correct uh, rivet. Moving now to the front mat another detail missed by many of our competitors this is not sewn or manufactured flat it is manufactured with a curve uh, that's how it was done and that's how we do it we also have imported the correct ribbed rubber so again not just using any old uh, heel pad but the correct uh, ribbed rubber heel pad and again stitched around the, the pedal um, 
this uh, 75 has this style carpet down the center again with the ribbed carpet and this is from the pre-production shorter version with binding um, so kind of a completely different setup here for the uh, 76 um, in a rocker carpets and then some pieces are just supplied and not bound like this uh, for the rear and of course that's for the rear deck so there you have it um, accuracy correct materials correct details uh, unconditionally guaranteed to fit and to be exactly as original uh, so we get asked why is our carpet the most expensive the answer is easy our carpet set is the most expensive out there because it's the best you get what you pay for with most things in life and Porsche upholstery products are no different so I hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh, we'll look at some other carpet sets as they're produced we have the original early Hagen the original early per, uh, Perlon the the gray carpet that's used in trunks on the early cars and actually within within the car on the uh, early cars uh, square weave carpet that's used on the very early the 65s and 66s uh, so we have all the original materials available to us and the original bindings to 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 uh, to bind each piece and uh, I think that's it I think that's a pretty good overview and uh, we'll leave it there Okay, got an amendment to the video uh, that we just produced here for the carpet set for the early 9.30. Uh, the wrong file, CAD file was used to cut it. There is a difference, There's a couple of small differences. Um, this, uh, the, the video featured this in one piece with a fan, fan den. That is from 1976 onwards. 74 to 76 had the shorter style like this and a sep and the separate piece that I had with the fiberboard is correct so we were missing this piece and it included one that wasn't correct the long one so anyway I'm ending the video here all's well it ends well um, the right file is was now cut and we have this style with the binding around for the handbrake uh, we leave this hole to cut um, and it has the bubble felt exactly as original. So this is the style from 1974 through 76.